She was actually doing well for herself before she came into limelight, but was tagged a celebrity by the power of Big Brother Niger, if you know what I mean. Hey guys, it's Annie here. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not, and put on your post notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And please watch this video till the end, and don't forget to like and comment. Let's talk about Maria Chike Benjamin. Maria Chike Benjamin is an ex-BB Niger housemate season 6, also known as Shine Your Eyes, with the likes of White Money, Liquor Rose, Perry, and so on. On. She's a former air hostess, entrepreneur, and social media influencer. She's said to be born in 1992. Speaking of her age, her age is something that has been under debate because of the different ages she has quoted in the past. When she was in the Big Brother Niger house, she talks about a certain age in relation to her passport, which is different from the age she claims to be. A lot of people believe that she doesn't want to own up to her real age. In 2022, when she posted about her 30th birthday, the internet went gaga. So many people did not believe and they questioned madam how can you be 30 years of age it's not possible so many did not agree with this age and it came with lots of trolling even a netizen who knew her way back in secondary school came out to disagree and said you were my senior in secondary school and i am 32 wonderful congratulations and maria replied but you mentioned maria chike i am me and you are you thank you but don't forget i am still your senior maybe not in age and this other person said you are so scared of your age own it woman it feels good to be old and maria said and you are so scared to love me because you don't love yourself bye baby and we can see another comment here which says maria is really funny she has revealed three different ages her bb niger age the age they mistakenly put on her passport and her new age she just needs to be consistent with whichever story it is she is telling and maria replied appreciate that you find me funny well from these comments obviously whatever game maria is playing she is very intentional about it and to the main gist of today let's take it back to when maria chike benjamin was in the bb niger house when she mistakenly mentioned a name kelvin is, is it done let's just start right here kelvin. perry can you please check if it's done <laughs> let's just start here the moment maria called when this happened, it wasn't taken serious. It didn't even draw any attention. Not until Kubana Chief Priest gave netizens reasons to dig up that video. Maria Chike Benjamin was in the Big Brother Niger house in 2021, which gave her the platform to be a Nigerian celebrity. She was based in Dubai before she joined the Big Brother house. Note this her place of residence because you will understand why I said this later. When she was in the house, she was known to be a mendacious person. Please look up for this word if you don't know what it is because I had to look for a more polite way to describe who maria is we also leave the meaning of this word on your screens if you watch that season of bb niger then i can bet you can relate to what i am saying that same year after big brother niger of course she was already popular kubana chief peace called her out what do you expect from a scandal of someone fresh from bb niger of course the internet blew up maria trended in all the social media platforms kubana chief peace accused maria of having an affair with his sister's husband kelvin and also threatening her these were the exact words of kubana chief priest grand fish i am lolo fish 27 i get dollars for you i get pounds for you there is nothing sweeter than family wives stay woke girls like maria chike benjamin are coming for your husbands she saw my sister's husband as if that's not enough she's sending her threats that i won't let it slide kelvin i did find when i come that dubai nothing must happen to my sister guys remember i said you should take note of her place of residence maria was resident in dubai before she came for big brother niger and she was living with this Kelvin over in Dubai. So he went on to say, Maria Chike Benjamin, how on earth will you threaten a married woman who has a male and female offspring to leave her husband for you or die? You they show person husband watch and car to pepper her. Kelvin, I'm so ashamed of you. All of us day street, you no know carry woman past anybody, but we can never make her miserable for our woman to the point a side chick cause your wife to threaten her life. If what you're doing is right, why are you covering your face in shame in this video my own not to make nothing happen to my sister if anything happens to my sister hashtag mazi 46 cows if you remember obi kubana's mom's burial he actually bought 46 cows for obi kubana's mom's burial and that is why you are seeing this hashtag for those who remember the story then speaking of the watch and card this was the video that kubana chief peace was referring to i don't think so no 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 I don't think so, no, 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 
It's never ever 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 gonna happen so after this, Kubana chief priest went ahead to share some of the charts between Maria and her sister because remember that Kubana chief priest said that Maria was threatening her sister. Let's take a look at it. So from the first one, you can see this was Kubana chief priest sister. It was Kubana chief priest sister that forwarded this to Kubana chief priest and Kubana chief priest then shared it online. So from the first one, you can see the chart between Maria Chike Benjamin and Kelvin's wife, and this the uh, Maria's messages were the one in black and Kubana chief priest sister's one are the ones in blue so maria sent he loves you and loves those children you should give them that at least and leave whatever it is you feel behind guys can you imagine the audacity this is maria telling kubana chief's sister to leave whatever feeling she has for kelvin behind people make mistakes disregard whatever you might have heard from people and she then went on to respond what you live with him right marriage will suit you both this was the response kubana chief's sister gave her and maria went went on to say all that all that is in the past please focus on him and your marriage is all i have asked god to give me the strength to call you and tell you and she the sister replied this is not my battle to fight i leave it for you to conscience maria said i have never met you as a woman i want you to be happy Kubana chief sister said, you are very mean. Maria went on to say, I have no bad conscience in this. I too have feelings and was misled. I am feeling for you and want you to know that he loves and wants to walk you on. And the sister said, living with someone's husband and telling her to be at peace with him. Wow. Like guys, I just, I was just wondering, reading this was actually very cringy. You can imagine the kind of thing coming from a side chick to the main wife. Let's continue. And um, Maria said, said work is stressful your marriage shouldn't add to his stress you can imagine side chick interceding for the husband can you imagine guy this is was actually very cringy and so Mara went on to say can you disregard this please she was referring to the message where this is um kubana chief sister said living with someone's husband and telling her to be at peace with him wow so Maria went on to say, whatever you heard or feel, can you move forward and disregard all this? No right or wrong here. Like, what kind of thing is this? No right or wrong here. Like, how? How? As in what, are you tr as in what point are you trying to prove? Anyway, this is the next one. And the lady said, you are the one stressing him. And Maria said, what matters is moving forward, Marianne. This is all I have to say. And the lady now said, to wear, please. And Maria said, if you say so, you are a married woman with two children. Focus on your marriage with him. He wants to work on it. Maria, the side chick, is telling the wife, your husband wants to work on your marriage. You can imagine this whole thing was as if Maria was, is the one trying to intercede said oh my god the devil is a liar and the lady said don't you ever send me message in your life ever again and the lady went on to say when he is ready you definitely won't be living with him and maria said i'm sorry and pray god blossoms your union more amen and the lady said for now he is not i bet you you are a devil in disguise and maria said i, I can 100 percent assure you he is ready i am not living with him guys take note of this this was maria trying to tell the wife that she doesn't have anything to do with kelvin again that both of them have separated and Maria said, please work on your marriage. If you say so, I will accept. That is her trying to reply to, you are a devil in disguise. And the lady said, I honestly wish two of you well. And Maria said, God knows the part I have played in this. What, what kind of part are you talking about here? Is he playing the part of bringing two of them together? Please, I do not understand. And the lady responded and said, please, you people should not involve me in any way. I beg you. And Maria said, you forget I'm all also a woman with feelings but this isn't what i came to tell you i came to wholeheartedly apologize to you guys maria said she wholeheartedly came to apologize to her now let's assume that maria did not know that kelvin was married and she now eventually found out let's take it that she was angry but after this you find out okay you came to apologize the woman what happened next anyway let's continue and the lady replied i wish you can as well show him all all this as you show him all this chat that is this chat between maria and uh, kelvin's wife and maria now said there is no us guys please listen to this oh maria said there is no us this was what she told kubana chief sister 
she's trying to assure Kubana chief priest sister that there is nothing going on between them again that both of them have moved on so she now went on to say i have no intentions to show him anything and the lady now said now nah, keep it to yourself we have both blocked each other that is kelvin's kelvin and kelvin's wife i am going to block you as well i have done my part mary Ann. this is now maria trying to say take care of you thank you and the lady now said you two can wallow in your lies let your conscience judge you guys reading this was actually very cringy and i've always wondered what happened that made her to go ahead with this relationship did you see the part where she said there is no us then what happened afterwards because if you think that maria left this lady's husband you are very wrong on this she even did the worst meanwhile after all these allegations came from kubana chief peace another netizen came out to debunk saying that kubana chief peace sister is already divorced which made kubana chief peace to go ahead to share a divorce papers showing that it was recently signed Let's see what the netizen wrote. So this netizen wrote, you don't have to lock your page, Oyin. That is, Oyin is Kelvin's wife. That is Kubana Chief's sister. Just come out and tell the truth. You don't even wear your ring anymore. You yourself have moved on. You don't just don't, you just don't like the fact that he is with a famous person and hinging on the fact that Nigerians will always be on your side, on the side of the woman and kids. It's either you stay with the cheating or you don't. There is no in and out as you like. Tell them about the divorce proceeding that is already in court tell them the truth that you are not with kelvin she said so because of this kubana chiefs had to share the divorce papers showing that these divorce papers were actually recently signed that is not as if that they divorced long time ago so in response to this kubana chief priest now said divorce was just sad barely a month ago we know they post receipts with ink cover slide to see the date my sister gave up the marriage after finding out kelvin sponsored the big brother movement also when she came to dubai to see the husband Man who does not pick calls again lo and behold maria opened the door for her putting on the husband's t-shirt i personally gave kelvin who managed maria's account while she was in big brother i also introduced them to polo 2104 for management all we ask is to let her not receive threats again she has moved out of their matrimonial home in Owe to abuja a few days ago to get a new life let her be respected they were never divorced since 2018 she just started the process which he is yet to respond to but guys did you notice the part where kubana chief priest said he personally gave kelvin who managed maria's account accounts while she was in big brother house and my question is does that mean that kubana chief priest knew of this relationship but he didn't want to spill probably his only anger was that the affair was ruining his sister's home remember when he said that all of them they street is how men are actually normalizing cheating for me so it's very possible that kubana chief priest knew of this relationship but his anger was the fact that the relationship was ruining his sister's home which is very bad speaking of the part where kubana chief priest said he personally gave kelvin the person who managed maria's account here is a proof of it this chat you're seeing right here is between kubana chief priest and kelvin when they were talking about maria you can imagine that means kubana chief priest was fully aware that kelvin was cheating on his sister this is very bad so moving on after all this allegation came from kubana chief priest neither maria nor her team came out to respond until the following year which was 2022 she said in a series of tweets because the trolling the bashing the causes were too much on her she now finally came out the following year to respond and these were her exact tweets my dear nigerians i understand we live in such a hypocritical world and everyone is a saint unless you are in the public eye then your shit stinks the most i adore marriage and wish all those in a happy marriage nothing but luck i love and respect the idea of one man to one woman if i ever got married i wouldn't want to get a divorce i would try to make everything work but our modern age keeps proving the old fairy tale of our ancestors are no longer a thing of bliss the likes of Halle Berry, Kim, Jello, etc keep proving that if you aren't happy you have the god-given right to live after you've tried your best to make it work i dislike failure and wouldn't want to fail in marriage dating is as amazing as marriage as long as two people are true to each other that's all that matters in my opinion and i'm going to address this once and only this once i've been quite on the whole husband snatcher issue i did not ruin any home myself 
silence is for the best of so many people involved that I haven't said my piece doesn't make me weak. I am respecting so many people involved and their privacy. And for the rumors of me sleeping with several married men, including a pastor, we both laughed at it because we literally breathe each other's air day in, day out, and no room for dishonesty. When and if I ever start doing runs, not that I have any intentions of this or knock anyone off their hustle, but my man does look after me and my family. And my family are also very much okay to look after me and I work my ass off to look after myself. And also, if I ever chop breakfast, I will chop it with ice cream. This is how preparing for the future. But my dear, if you ever chop breakfast, trust me, Nigerians are going to come for you, okay? Because this is life. But I will always be happy and I promise myself that on this God's giving it. But for now, I just want to dance under the sunset, make nobody stop my enjoyment. Guys, this we are Maria's response. What do you guys think about this response? At the end of the day, I don't know, for some reason, this response did not make any sense to me. Maria, you were in this lady's DM trying to tell her that Kelvin is ready to make up. You are trying to apologize to her that you didn't know this happened and that happened. So what is the meaning of all this? Why are you not trying to come out to say that you didn't know, that you didn't ruin anybody's home? Anyway, what are your thoughts about this, her response? Guys, even when she came out to say this, the trolling was too much, the causes were too much, but it did not stop Maria. She even went ahead to always flaunt Kelvin at every given opportunity. Last year when Kelvin celebrated his birthday, this was a particular video he posted. She always posts videos and photos of her and Kelvin together. And here comes the bombshell. Maria announced her pregnancy in 2023 with this video and the caption. This chapter is called Blessed. With her heart filled with so much love and happiness, we can't wait to meet you. Meanwhile, in the pregnancy photo she posted, she was pictured with Kelvin and Kelvin's face was being covered. And a lot of netizens were asking, why are you covering his face? For what reason exactly? Are you not proud to show his face? People were actually shocked that Maria still went ahead with Kelvin and to the extent of having a baby for him. This is the height of it. And then fast forward to 1st of October 2023, Maria welcomed her baby. Still in that same 2023, she was in an interview with Today where she said she didn't know that Kelvin was married. Let's take a look at it. things have happened that people have talked about yeah. with regard to you and a married man. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it's an opportunity. I mean, I guess you cleared it. I don't know what you want to do with that. But at the re reunion, there was your fellow housemate, um, Angel, saying that. Then I think there was a guy called um, a Kubana High Priest yeah. comes and says that. So think of yourself as an, a, an audience as you used to be hearing all these stories. And somebody says, wait, there's not a lady they called with about. So there's not a lady that Angel talked about. There's not a lady that Kubana High Priest talks about what's going on with her. Yeah. But I'm going to try and just give a little insight. I actually wasn't aware whether or not he was married when we first started dating. Um, there are personal stuff that went on that I'm not, because I always said that in my head. It was like she was repeating something I would say. Because it's like, I don't owe people my personal life because I don't come out to say I'm a saint. I, what I'm going to stand by, and that's the gospel truth, I didn't destroy any marriage. I have never, and I would never, I would never even try and do that to another woman because I, I didn't destroy anyone's marriage yeah. whatsoever. When this interview aired, a lot of people had just one question to ask, which is, you didn't know he was married when you started dating him. But what happened when you now found out? You decided to stay back to overtake the main madam and own him all to yourself. Well, guys, what do you think about this? Is that same question also in your mind? Then recently, Cutie Joes, a popular blogger on Instagram, posted something that got everyone talking. If you know Cutie Joes, you will know that she blogs differently. This was what Cutie Joes posted on her Instagram page. She said, Sometimes that's the problem with a young woman snatching someone's husband, especially when the new woman hasn't got a child of her own before snatching. Now in the caption, this was what she wrote. There are now cool, they are cool now, but before now, now, they have some issues because Oga Kelvin doesn't want more children. Remember, Kelvin already has two kids from his previous marriage. So as Maria had her first, it was dead for Kelvin. The more they have, Kelvin will always be plus two ahead. And as Kelvin is not as financially strong like before, he just wants a little family. You can't blame Maria because he has just started and obviously she also gave her principles. She also gave her principles as to how many children she wants to have. Hmm, this thing 
things get as it be sometimes, Sha. Guys, what do you think about all of this? I may not know how true these cutie Joe's findings are, but one thing I believe is that Kava is that Kama never misses. In all of this, Mariah's justification could be that after all, they are already divorced. Maybe that's why she can flaunt him anyhow she wants. The funny thing is that this guy is not married to Maria. She calls him her partner. If there was a marriage, maybe I may have reason to say maybe the guy was already tired of his wife. But these two are just co cohabiting and making babies. I don't even know if I made sense enough to express what I have in my mind. If Maria didn't know that Kelvin was married, when you found out, what did you do? Him lying to you is even enough reason to cut off that relationship because he wasn't being sincere to you. You also chatted his wife to tell her you were no longer with Kelvin. What happened after that? Guys, there are a million and one questions for Maria to answer and I wonder what her justifications are. But what do you think about all of this? Do let me know what you think in the comment section and I hope you already subscribed at this point. See you in my next episode.